Okay, so take this NAND that you removed from the phone. Make sure you clean all these contacts. Uh, open this thing and put it here. Make sure it's the right direction and close this thing. Right, once it's done, click on HDD check. Okay, it says fail. So that means I didn't put in the correct direction, like the correct orientation. So open it back, remove again, flip it. Okay, okay. see, now it's reading. Try one more time, check, and you'll see that both the partitions are reading properly. Now what you do, click on the quit, okay, and now if, if you are getting an error 4013 or error 9, what you can do, click on HTT fix, and then click on start fix, okay, and just wait. Once the start fix completes, what are you gonna do? You're gonna click again start fix at least five times. So it's it's going to complete now. Okay. Click one more time, start fix. Sometimes when you do only one, the start fix, it doesn't fix. You have to do it at least five times. That's what I do. It won't take you that long just just click five times start fix start fix and let it let it fix whatever problem in the end this is a one way to fix error 4013 or error 4014 error 9 also uh, if you are getting 4013 and after doing this process, when you install the NAND, and if you get a 4014 error, then that means you need to remove the NAND and make a reball properly because if one of the pin is not getting connected, then also you get an error 4014. Oops, what did I click? I click uh, HTT fix, start fix. Okay, so this is the fourth time I'm doing start fix. If and uh, you know, mainly there are like three errors, right? Four zero one three, four zero one four, and error nine. Uh, 4013 is definitely because of uh, uh, the NAND problem and especially in iPhone uh, sorry yeah, let me click on HTTP fix this is the last time that the fifth time I'm doing okay so uh, I was saying that 4013 error is because of the NAND but after doing this process if you get a 4014 especially in iPhone 6 6 plus you get an error 4014 uh, if the NAND is not being soldered properly. Okay, so uh, this is done five times. So when you uh, remove this NAND, uh, make sure you make good balls uh and solder properly in the correct direction uh check the zxw or any other schematic if you have or any other uh you know uh, spare motherboard where you can see like 
what is the orientation of the IC uh, make sure you properly solder this IC and uh, you, you should not have any problem fixing error 4013 if this old IC that you remove from the phone doesn't fix the error 4013 then there is another method that the IC may be defective in that case what you have to do you have to replace this IC and copy the data not like a customer data like pictures and everything but uh, the serial number the MacBook address and the Wi-Fi wi wi address you have to uh, copy from one chip to another chip so how are you gonna do that okay so let me put this same IC back here okay I have one more IC here so what we're gonna do we're gonna move the uh, uh, information from this IC to this IC all right so let's try that okay so put it again make sure it reads IC okay then click on quit okay then click on read and write okay and then click on read okay what it's gonna do is gonna read all the information like serial number and and all these things okay okay uh, right because this I have this a new IC uh, because it doesn't have any serial number and any data that's why I'm saying that okay HDD is empty okay but whenever you have a, a actual IC that you removed from the phone will read all the data okay so once it gets complete reading the IC what you can do uh, straight open this thing uh, remove the IC and put the new IC in there okay put the new IC in there and then once it reads uh, the data this right button will get highlighted okay and then you just click on the right and then what it will do it will write all the information from the previous IC to the new IC and now you can reball this new IC and solder it uh, to fix your error 4013 or error 9 or error 4014 make sure that if you are originally if you were getting error 4013 and after doing reballing if you are getting error 4014 then either it might be the problem of the battery because your battery is not fully charged or I mean it's a zero charge and uh, it might be also a problem of a bad reballing okay okay now error 9 it's something different okay error 9 might be uh, because of uh, uh, microprocessor problem uh, you can see YouTube video how to fix like error 9 uh, which is a microprocessor problem uh, it might be because of the NAND 2 so there are ways to find out how to uh, make sure that it's a problem of the NAND or it's a problem from the microprocessor uh, you can see some YouTube video that will explain you how to check it uh, if it's not the problem with the microprocessor then you can go ahead and remove the NAND uh, fix it five times or replace the NAND and try to fix it but if it was the uh, problem from the microprocessor then the NAND will not fix it okay so if you have any question uh, let me know I'll try to answer it alright thank you